Okay, moving along now to presentations. Our first presentation is item 4.1, and it's the Mayor's Poetry Challenge. And we have Isra Ahmed here, who is a uh, psychology student at the Medicine Hat College, to read to us a couple of her poems. Welcome, Isra. So you have the floor, and, and you are going to do two original poems that you wrote yourself? Uh, yes. Yes, okay. You're, you may start any time you like. My first poem is titled Obsession. I have this obsession, an obsession with lines. Lines that never touch, but continue on for hours, days, months, years, and keep me obsessed with connections, connections that I can't make making me frustrated, frustrated with the living, living with their fake smiles and cliches, their assumptions, judgment, inventions. I have this obsession. My second poem is titled, If I Sleep With My Eyes Open. If I sleep with my eyes open, maybe I'll be less afraid. Maybe I'll finally get to see those monsters in my closet, and maybe I'll chase away the voices in my brain. Maybe I'll see a new me in the shattered mirror and broken glass. Maybe I'll feel complete. Maybe I'll finally pass. The test that I've been dreading, the test that makes me shake, the test of life that may not even be worth it. But maybe if I sleep with my eyes open, I'll be less afraid. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, any uh, questions of our poet? Uh, Councillor uh, Samraj. Thank you. Those were um, beautiful poems. Uh, how long have you been writing poetry? Uh, since I was in high school. I started around, well, like for leisure at least, since I was in high school. Um, I had to do a couple things in junior high for schoolwork and stuff, but I didn't really enjoy that as much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Any other questions? Councillor Dumanowski? Well, thank you, Isra. Um, it takes a lot of courage to come in front of council and the community and share your personal works of art. They were very reflective pieces and uh, enjoyed them ter tremendously. I guess my question is, um, every time somebody publishes a piece of work or there's a new album out there. The, the question they often get asked is what inspired you? Was there an inspiration for your poetry or was it just something that came from within? Um, there wasn't really inspiration for these. I wrote them a few years ago and I was going through a really tough time then. And I just, it was a reflection of myself at that time. Well, even with my earlier comments, it's doubly so. Um, that you came here before us and shared with uh, everyone in the community your, your feelings and it probably will inspire many others to do the very same so well done thank you thank you Councillor Friesen well thank you I I don't have a question but I do want to thank you I was really taken with your poems actually I I don't always love poetry but I really liked yours they they spoke to me in a way because of your delivery it, it, it wasn't just the writing it was that you spoke about them from your heart, like they were just, they were, they were speaking to your inner self and, and some of your struggles and struggles many other people have as well. So I found both your writing and the delivery of your poem was particularly compelling and I really thank you for that. Thank you, that means a lot. Thank you, Councillor McIntosh. Thanks, Your Worship. So I'm currently teaching a poetry unit to a group of uh, grade six students. Would you consider coming into my class and spending 20 minutes talking about your experiences with poetry and maybe reading a few poems with them? Uh, sure, definitely. Okay, I am going to get your contact information and get a hold of you. Thank you. Right. That's a real compliment because he has never asked me to do that. <laughs> Honored, then. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just that, that. Maybe I'm just that bad. Uh, any other <laughs> questions or comments? 